hired me to do security, not report on Carly's personal life. Yeah, but part of keeping Carly safe is protecting her from herself. But it wasn't Carly's idea to take off. Sonny showed up, asked for help. But you think leaving was a mistake? But whatever Carly does is her business, okay? I'm not here to pass judgment. But you were concerned. You called me. Look, Carly asked me to look out for Jocelyn while she was gone. Now, I can keep people out of the room, but I can't keep Jocelyn's father from checking her out of the hospital. Takes to protect Jocelyn, but her father isn't gonna like it. You know, Jax has had a problem with me being here since day one. Yeah, it's because I hired you. Well, that and my connection to Theo. It didn't sit well with Jax that I took money to kidnap Brenda and nearly got her killed in the process. You didn't know what Theo was planning, right? Well, I knew what Theo was capable of. Went to work for him anyway. Mercenary for hire. Well, that's what Jax can't get past. That didn't help matters that he came home and found Carly patching me up after I'd been shot. Not a ringing endorsement for protecting his family from danger. That, that's what Jax is trying to make this about? That, that Carly's a danger to Jocelyn? Well, Jax has come down on Carly a couple of different times for putting that daughter at risk. He said the only reason Franco has targeted Jocelyn was because Carly refused to cut you and Sonny out of her life. Now, Jax is insisting Jocelyn come live with him at the hotel. And Carly, of course, is welcome to visit. Yeah, well, she's never going to agree to that. Well, now there's talk of going to court, making it a tougher fight. Now, Jax is trying to bluff Carly to back him down, threatening to paint her as an unfit mother. I didn't realize it got this far. Well, as far as Carly's concerned, you've got your own stuff to deal with. You know, you probably didn't want to pile anything yeah, else Yeah, no, but Jax isn't going to wait. He's going to take advantage of the fact that Carly's out of town. Okay. So what do you want me to do? Dr. Why don't you just take a break? And I'm going to sit with Jocelyn for a little while. And you call me if you need anything. So this is called Puppy's New Purse. You know what? You don't need to read this book. Why don't I tell you about real animals? Like uh, lions and giraffes. And uh, you know when I used to read to your brother when he was little? He used to love all the animals in Africa. But none of them wore clothes like this. Hey, get that. Hey. How's she doing? She's, uh, she's ready to go home. We're just, we're just waiting for Carly. Amazing. Jocelyn, can you say hi? Yeah. Can you say hi to Elizabeth? Hi. Ah, uh, she's hi, the one who helped you when you were sick. Jocelyn, I'm so glad you're doing better. <laughs> you know, lots of people are saying prayers for you, and it looks like it worked because you are a beautiful, healthy little girl. And are you going to grow up to be big and strong and live a long, long life? Makes me really happy. Hey, are you, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I hope it didn't scare her. No, no, she's, she's fine. She, um, uh, insists on reading the, the, the book with the animals where they whatever she wants. Or you know what it's going to be, makeup and boys. Uh, I don't want to think about that yet. I'm just glad she gets the chance to experience all that. I'm still so angry. I just, I don't understand why God decided to take Jake. I feel like I'm forever going to have this gaping hole in my heart. And I think about you all the time. And how hard this has been on you. I got to hear more I love you's than I can count. And I just, I just... I really wish you could have had the same. So do I. You know, people keep telling me that at some point I will actually feel good about donating Jake's organs. 
but it wasn't until right now seeing Jocelyn so happy and healthy that it really registered. Jake was such an amazingly energetic and fearless little boy who just loved to run and play and, and now other kids like Jocelyn are going to get to run and play too. You know, people have continued to offer their support and their condolences and I really appreciate it and I know they mean well but the truth is words just don't ease the pain or the guilt I feel but seeing Jocelyn knowing that she's going to have a full life ahead of her it's actually the first thing that has helped well Jocelyn wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you well, you saved her life I, that's not entirely true you know I said a bunch of mean and hurtful yeah, things it doesn't matter it doesn't matter all that matters is that she's here and she's healthy because of lucky he's the one that could see the good that might come out of all this either way i'll always be grateful thank you i guess the three of us will forever be bonded by the good that came out of jake She's my kid. You don't have any rights to her whatsoever. Yeah, well, Carly does. Well, Carly's not here, and the hospital has released her, so I'm going to take her home. If Carly has a problem with that, she can come and talk to me well, about Carly's it. Carly's going to be back soon. Why don't you and Jocelyn just wait for her? Obviously, Carly couldn't make the time to be here. You can stay with Jocelyn as long as you want, but she's going to be going home with her mother. I'm not going to have her live in a house where criminals come and go as they please. I mean, she's already been targeted by a psychopath because of you. So I think it's time I started protecting my daughter. Yeah, but you've, you've seen what the fighting and ugly divorces have done to Michael and Morgan. You want to drag Jocelyn to that? Well, Carly doesn't have to fight me. It's ultimately her choice. Excuse me. <laughs> You're not going to do anything with Jocelyn until Carly gets back. Jason, you can't... You can't stop me from taking Jocelyn from this hospital. You have no legal claim. No. But Jake saved your daughter's life. Right. Which would make Jocelyn's life all the more precious to you. It definitely is. And admit that it's wrong to be raised around guns and violence. Come on. Michael and Morgan have already witnessed firsthand the ugliness of your taking business. Taking Jocelyn away from her mother is not the solution. You gave up your son. You let Lucky raise him because you wanted him to be outside the circle of violence, right? That's what I'm trying to do for Jocelyn here. I'm trying to make her life you, safer. You make a mistake with your kid, you carry it for the rest of your life. I did so many things that I would take back thinking Jake would be better off, and he wasn't. Jocelyn won't be either. Don't cut Carly out of her life. <laughs>